City of Alcor. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And both teams with one game each under their belt already. Let's see how they fare this time around. It's Australia, and they take on Tunisia. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Well, after their opening game result, they need a big performance here. They've got to play on the front foot and play with a bit more adventure. Otherwise, they will be going out. He read the situation defensively and did his job. McLaren. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. And space for them here on the flank. How about the cross? Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Jamie McLaren. Aziz Behic. And a free kick awarded by the referee. And deep into the penalty area. And the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So, underway again here. One nil the score. Behic. It's Jamie McLaren. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Aaron Moy. Saifedin Jaziri. And a decent delivery. Well, it didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. Degenek. Looking threatening and crossing towards the far post, and no way through. The cross is on, chance here, and that is offside. Jackson Irvin. Ball back with Australia here. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. And space to cross it. Well, they couldn't do anything with that particular cross. McLaren. And out for an Australia throw-in. McLaren. It looks promising. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. So, the whistle then. We're up the half.
So back underway here into the second half. Could cross it in here. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Jackson Irwin. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. Wabi Khazri. The inside route looking promising. Well, no way through. But they're trying to get right into his face. McLaren. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Jaziri. Now Naeem Sleety. Nicely timed tackle. Boyle and well, they're not standing off their opponents in the slightest now options are plenty can he give them the advantage he scored once already and close to making it a double well every time he gets on the ball he looks a real danger today a danger here as he runs at them to cross into the center applying vigorous pressure must take the lead here and they have you've got to say it has been coming Well, here it is again, and when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that, it's a poor clearance, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Oh, great defending. A wonderful intervention. Moy. Good technique displayed. It's got to be. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So back underway at 3-1. Well, we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Naiduni, ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Jamie McLaren.
might really be able to trouble them here well that's gone out and it is going to be a goal kick so a personnel change then McLaren and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time it has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in he's got space it needs an accurate cross he must finish they've got themselves back into it a lifeline in this game and this could be a dramatic finale well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Goal! And there goes the final whistle. It goes into the history books as a win for them. So, morale is high. Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today. No two ways about it, he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.